When you log into shorthand, you should be able to access this page, the dashboard. And you can see I've already created a story, this card here, that I can click to open and edit. But I won't do that. We're not going to edit anything. We're starting from scratch, remember? So let's create a new story. Can you guess where I should click to do that? Yes, on the new story card. How did you know? When you click on new story, you get to choose if you want to start from a completely blank story or from a template. You can click view a preview before you actually make a final decision. I don't want to use a template, so let's start with a completely blank story. Except it's not completely blank. There's a placeholder image, header, and subheader, but that's okay, we're gonna change all of that. What you're seeing now is actually the editor, a beautiful place where you can create and edit your story. Let's start by clicking on settings here on top. Here you can enter the title of your story, which will also appear in search results. You can enter a description, add the names of the authors, and create a tag for your story. That's helpful, especially when you have so many stories on your dashboard, as it allows you to filter them by tag. And by the way, to go back to the dashboard, all you have to do is to click on the shorthand logo on the top left. You can also click on themes and choose between shorthand basic and shorthand blue. These will affect the available fonts and the theme colors, and you can contact shorthand to create your own theme with your own brand fonts and colors. Great. Now this is the first section of the story. It's called the title section and we will edit it in the next video.